All right. Um, let's see here. We are back in the lovely town of Dugan's Hole. <laughs> uh, it's let's bring this up real quick Dugan's Hole here's the map and it is uh, definitely a small town with very few people uh, present 50 people total live here you guys just arrived, and we'll, we'll kind of pick up where we left off with you kind of just arriving, and we'll say that you are walking into town, um, kind of beginning to see folks who are, they see you and they close their shutters really quick. I'm about to sneeze. We already uh, investigated you. those stones, those like ninners. Okay, so and, you... And like felt the evil magic in that, yes. that pin in the center. You approach the, the stones. The incredible uh, uh, history check. Yes. And you feel that there is some kind of uh, presence beneath the stones. Um, there's also the hot springs, which is the building that is on the dock, approaching the dock between uh, the speaker's house and the lake. It's the longer building. Um, the speaker's house is kind of center in of town, and then there's the hot spring, which is a small building, uh, a long building. Sorry. Okay. The good, good mean. Where is? Oh, the other. That's the road to the other town. Okay. Dugan's Hole. <laughs> See, this town. This town's creepy as hell. It is. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Did we? We came here. For the springs, but not for the springs, right? To look for we stuff, came, and then we found. Or we, we came we here heard because about, um, wreckage. We came here because I got information that the uh, the hot springs themselves could were a healing source that could take care of my problem, but also there might be other ways to. There might be other ways here to solve it. Yeah. yeah. But also, oh, okay. the, and, and then there's the crashed, uh, there's also always that uh, option of just fighting the crashed ship and killing the right. black mud. You all look out onto the lake and you can see humanoid figures standing still on the ice, uh, silent as the, the wind kind of howls around them. Um, in the darkness beyond the shore. But uh seems like there's also some other crazy shit going on here. There there are Definitely. local fishers. <laughs> huh. Well if you think if if you think we could crank up the hot springs and maybe just, you know, um force that little guy out and we don't have to destroy like the entire Mind Flayer presence at level three. But I don't know how the I'm down for how that. the hot springs works. Maybe we just Well I guess we're, we're gonna people? have to talk to these motherfuckers. Yeah. I didn't want to have to, but All right, let's socialize. Come on, they can't be that bad. Let's just uh, let's uh, <laughs> it's just some weird. And I I know I keep asking this, but um, this is not normal for this entire planet, right? This is not it, the weird things that have happened to these places, the weird state of these places, as it pertains to the sacrificial nature of these creatures to gods and all this is and the ice Sarge, i and mean all it's this. not abnormal but there's you know there's not a lot uh there's not a lot of normal going on in this planet i would say the only thing uh normal it, i mean you know sun going up coming up going down and then even here you know there's a lot of weird, wild shit that happens here honestly i mean there was reports of very high-end rich people and demon cults sacrificing people in the city Okay, okay. I just, it's its just taking all of everything that I have just to, like, not bring that up all the time. How weird this all is. But it's a wacky, it's a wacky place, for sure. You're not wrong. Where do you need to go? Although our oh, normal God, to you. is weird for you, your normal is weird for us a little bit. 
Yes, it's all subjective. Yes, I find it weird. I also find it weird that you all have only one tongue. It's very strange to me. You have I find it weird that none of you all can breathe underwater and that you need warm clothing. This feels fine for me. Yeah, different strokes. Anywho. Let's, uh, let's, is there some form of inn or tavern? As you well, people like to say. Maybe we should just poke around the springs. And, uh, somebody will come talk to us about it, probably. Uh, this town is so small that they do not have a tavern. Uh, there is a. Well, where did they get their drinks? They just. They just try and get by. They just hole up in their own houses and drink alone, all of them. But, but where, where would they get quest information from? Where would <laughs> that? This isn't. This doesn't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> How do they go on quests? <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, these twenty stones on the hill probably used to speak to them. Yeah. Let's well, uh. Yeah, we can head there and let's let's uh, see if there's any people over there. Because isn't there like some kind of magical something going on there? At the stones. With these stones. Yeah. There's something going on. Well, yeah. Wasn't there like some kind of evil presence underneath, and the pin was doing something to either hold it there or like hold it in some kind of. What did you say about it last time? Yeah. Um. Well, you definitely felt that this was a dwarven relic. It mm. has been here for a very long time. Um, this town previously was not so decrepit and, and insular. It used to be kind of a somewhat, uh, a gathering place of various different cultures and races, um, but has fallen, since fallen hard, like hard. Um, so you approach the stones and you can definitely sense a dark presence, not just not just the darkness around you but there's something that is actively watching you approach and and kind of you feel it kind of pulling at you and and the wind kind of picks up as you get closer you uh see that the stones are runic they're, they're runes etched around the stones and there's a, a heavy magical like almost electricity in the air as you, as you stand among these stones, but there's no people around. There's no human people around. There's that's, no, um, that, that's an interesting that clarification. But this is a uh, you. You sense that this stone is. You did an investigation check on it with with your. Uh, uh, stone cunning and you see that the runes etched into it with your knowledge are um, runes of holding okay that's why I was yeah so it's probably holding something here but I wonder if this is like I don't know I probably just can't tell if it's if it's like a good force holding the bad force at bay or if it's, uh, or I guess if, if it's bad and causing all the bad shit, that's fine. You can't really tell it, right? You, yeah, yeah. You can't tell based upon just being. You, you'd need to do a little bit more digging, a little bit more investigation in this to get further. Sure. There's probably some way Maybe. to get under this mound. This is on a mound, right? We could probably get under here. You uh, could. I don't. You could. Maybe let's yeah. talk to the speaker before. Yeah, yeah. The, More uh, investigation. Before we start needed, that, that is debating. Yeah. Yeah, that was. No, a good I, yeah, I don't want to start the, digging. The, that was that was a good point about the I don't not knowing if it's a good thing holding back a bad thing or bad thing holding back a good thing. Uh, that was a good yeah. point. I'm, yeah. Sure. Um, okay. Yeah, I guess let's go talk to these fuckers. I want, to, I want to go to the hot springs, right? Let's just see what the hot springs is like. It's under a roof, right? We got to go in a room yeah. and check yeah. it out. So
so as you approach the hot springs, it's a large... Yeah. This building is definitely elven um, as you approach it. It has very um, kind of sloped roofs. Uh, it has large, ornately ornamented timber frame. And uh, this building has been here longer than any of the other buildings around it. This was definitely one of the original uh, structures of this area. Eh, a little, a little <laughs> frilly for my taste. It's a little frilly. Um, yeah, I like it. Do you all head inside, <laughs> or what would, what would you like to do? We'll just... Oh, they're always so unnecessary. Yeah, I'll, I'll walk in. I don't know if the door's open, or if the door opens. Yeah. Um, if the door doesn't yeah, open, I knock. As you all head inside, you pass through some um, kind of heavy fabric curtains that part and allow you inside. Once you're inside, you are greeted with a, uh, a single elvish man, but this man has extremely dark skin, and you can tell that this is, in fact, a drow. Um, his name is Zohimu. And he looks up at you and goes, I'm sorry, the uh, hot springs are closed. Please come again at another time. Uh, maybe a few hundred years. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That, that's not gonna, no, that can't, uh, uh, no, I'm gonna say no to that. No to that. This my, is, friend, uh, my friend is trying to say we actually, uh, we actually traveled a pretty long ways uh, to get just to this hot spring, or this warm springs, uh, Seems pretty chilly. Uh, could you maybe elaborate a little bit? Maybe there's something we could do. Uh, about. Yes, the uh, the hot springs has been well. It's been defiled for some time. I, you'll have to come back another time once we have it cleansed. Well, you know, uh, well, my name is Dwarf. I'm a cleric of Buffett, God of Summer and Storms. I've done some cleansing in my time. Uh, my group here is, is um, we got, you know, a set of skills. You know what I mean? Oh. Maybe we could do some undefiling for you. Well, it would require... If you're willing to help, I would be happy to point you in the direction. Uh, we had a sacred flame that kept the hot springs warmed, and and our, uh, our patron was the one who cleansed the water as it flowed over him. Unfortunately, since the flame was taken and the water cooled, uh, our patron has been absent, and some other residents have taken up. They've taken residence and completely diseased and fouled the water. So until we have that flame back, unfortunately, we cannot do any further... We could maybe kill the creatures, but they'll just come back later. We require the, the sacred flame. Well, hey, listen, uh, sacred flame, man, that's my business. You know, I'd snap my fingers and then I've got a sacred flame in my hand. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, power of Buffett uh, is, is strong. Maybe, you know, we could, uh, you know, uh, revamp this place uh, and with a you know new patron. That's, uh, well, it's got a sacred flame. I know oh. that. Twirl around my finger. Is it an eternal flame? Well, you know, we could work something out, I'm sure. It sounds like these creatures might get in the way, too, but I'm just saying, you know, maybe whoever your patron was, you know, slipped out the back door. is not, it's not worth much. Do you Buffett know is here now, ready. Who are these creatures? The flame? <laughs> I'm sorry? Do you know anything about who took the flame? Yes. Yes, I do. It was, it was in a, a barbarian tribe. Uh, they were called the Tribe of the Bear. They somehow came into the structure, raided it, took it to the cave nearby, and have, I don't know, they've probably somehow changed it or did something to it, but until it's bunch returned. Bunch of holes. Yeah, they're a bunch of D-bags. Truly, <laughs> truly D-bags. Earth holes. Um, I like it. Look, I can show you Are these the, the creatures you were talking about? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, are the, these creatures the creatures are... You were talking about? The creatures are of demonic origin. The mm. the hot springs are magical, so they've attracted some creatures of ill intent. 
So are we inside and we see the big pool or the springs or whatever? No. So the upper floors is kind of like the structure is kind of like a small um, spa building where there would be a lot of rooms and, and a small little uh, eating area. But the actual spring is is underground. It would be there's a staircase uh. leading down to a lower area, and there's a large uh, wooden gate with uh, like some kind of ritual paper pulled across it that says uh, you know area off limits. Mm. The uh, he points to uh, <coughs> he points to your map and says. I think that from last I heard the cave where the thing the flame was taken is located somewhere around that's a big target <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was located somewhere around uh, in this area here boop and he, he does a little boop and goes boop I think he goes, it's called the Cave of Berserkers. Now, Which is a fun I, uh, thing to say. Yes, it's a very creative name. Uh, uh, I, I have uh, one question. The, I, I was really relying on the, the, the healing, uh, I, the healing uh, properties of the spring to fix an, an ailment of mine. Is that, is that some, if we were to fix this, get this, sacred flame eternal or otherwise back from these barbarians would that would that restore the healing properties of this spring get oh, yes. back working yes uh, uh the the patron saint of our um spring if he returns with the flame oh he he's he gives you all the good juices yeah can i do an insight check on this guy sure Well, that's a six. I say we do it. It'll advance the plot at least. Let's uh. Who uh? Who is your patron? Yeah, I if I could ask. Start. Um. Never mind. Well, he's a <laughs> he is a a resident. Have you heard of a fire salamander? Um. Isn't well, that a uh, I guess. Well, let me uh, do nature, right? Sure. Fourteen. Yeah, uh, you you understand fire salamanders are a uh, kind of a weird creature. They're like a they're not quite demonic. They have they they're have elemental, other, right? Yeah, they have otherworldly origins, but they're not demonic. Right. Um, they're just kind of they're elementals and. Uh, apparently, if the hot springs are warm, one comes here and and helps kind of heat up the water, and that's what actually created oh, uh, so the um, the hot springs itself. No, so the say, salamander you... doesn't have the flame. The flame attracts a salamander. Uh, yes, that's that's essentially it. There's some kind of magical synergy between the two, and. But you do, but there's not there's not like another entity that is providing the sacred flame the sacred flame. No, it's it's really just okay. it, yeah. It's essentially the flame itself is what brings the salamander, and the salamander feeds off of it, and that in turn heats the water around it, and it just sits there for millennia in the in the hot water. Right. Well, shit, I think we should go talk to some barbarians. Um. And I was what actually a little, wrong? and and so yeah, the the actual cave I was wrong uh, is, <laughs> and I apologize. It's over here. <laughs> okay, we God did damn. also la last session we did also get uh, location of the of the ship of the crash ship, which is here. Okay. Okay, just uh, we're just gonna have to do some traveling. Uh, nothing is close. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. And um, just making just making sure just making sure I know. So he uh, uh, he kind of he goes. If you're needing a place to stay, um, once once the inn is cleansed, we would be happy to have you stay with us. But for now, it's a little. Uh, there's some bizarre nightmares that people are having if you stay here while it's defiled. Are you staying here? I don't have a choice. Hold are on you me. bound here? Do you need Do you need help? This is my home. I've been here for many, many. She wants a hug. Have you been here long enough to know what's up with those stones on the hill? Uh, yeah, how's that connected? Okay, and then as you guys are, are you guys pretty much set? No, uh, we've you... all uh, had a question. Okay. Uh, have you been here long enough to know what's up with those stones on the hill, Zahimu? Oh, I've been, yeah. Actually, I'm, this is exciting. Ow. Oh, I don't like where this is going. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I don't like how happy you just got. <laughs> this is gonna be weird. So, what's kind of cool is that uh, those stones are holding a, a great demonic entity named um, Degloth. He's he's really Ooh. quite fascinating. He's a very powerful creature. He might be able to also help you with your issue. Um, if you approach the stone and touch the stone, you might be able to speak with him. Uh, you said this was a demon? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I've had a few chats with him. He's an interesting fellow, but he, there's no, you know, as long as he's kept in place, then there should be no issues. Yeah, should. I'm not sure how many uh, demons we want to work with, you know. Uh, that's, you know, drow may be into that kind of thing, but... Uh, I, I, you know, I don't think that's good practice. Well, hey man, I mean, well, how hey often man. do you get be... to chat with a demon? He's I pretty mean... cool. He's a cool fellow. Okay, okay. Demons only you... want destruction and death. You calm down with the with the demon. Uh, uh, Thor, calm down with the racism. And uh... it's not <laughs> racism. It's historic fact. The the drow are down there underneath the ground, summoning all kinds of demons. They like to do that kind of shit. Okay. And well, then this drow just said that we should go chat with the demon. This okay. I'm not hey, saying you should. I'm just saying you can. He's. A, I've talked with him. He's all right. I'm not saying this drow, and I and I did not catch your name. Can uh, I have your name now? Zahimu. We got his name there. Well, I didn't. Well, I didn't catch it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you're a fine fellow. Yes, yes, I... No, no offense, but uh, yeah, when dealing with demons, I know who works with them and who does not. Uh, I'm okay, not a huge just, fan uh, of this, just, but you know, this isn't. Uh, neither, this isn't. Neither am I. This isn't. Neither am I. But the fourth gang. I'm not a fan of is broad, broad. Uh, using a broad stroke for a whole race. It's just. Uh, so, it's just that's not cool, dude. It's just not I'm cool. It's not. Writing in my notes all the stuff we've been talking about and. I want to turn to Zahima and say, okay, so is there anything special for just chatting? You just touch the stone. Okay, that that's a that that seems let's see that seems like a red flag. That seems like a <laughs> seems like a. Well, uh, yeah, you this... you hold the stone and you can speak out loud, and he will speak into your to your mind. But he's only able to speak if someone approaches and and touches the center stone. His... I'm pretty sure I touched it when I investigated it, but I guess I wasn't trying to talk to anybody either. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. uh, well, you guys can do that. Okay. So, and there. This and, seems and like the greatest story ever to interview a creature who's been trapped underneath this madness. New Ball, are there saying? cats where you're from? I'm from a lot of places, so probably. Well, have you ever heard of the expression uh, uh, a cat will get itself killed by sticking its nose into lots of things? And being <laughs> yeah, interested is in that how the expression is? Well, it's, a long, it's a long, clunky expression, and it's not my favorite, 
you know, in Toral, but that's just what they say. I don't know why they say it, but, you know, I feel like you might be one of those cats, you know? But that saying is always cut short because satisfaction always brought that cat back to those clunky things. No. The cat did come back the very next day. That is how it goes. Um, yeah. No, well, <laughs> and also Nouveau. I, I just want to. Uh, I want to. What kind of journalist are you? Are you one of those journalists that is just a non-objective observer, where you just get the information and then you're good, or are you one of those people who actively? Are you one of those like? Uh, oh, you guys don't have podcasts here. Um, <laughs> Are you one of those, like, true crime people who, like, insert themselves into the story and try to, like, change the narrative? I, I just want to know, like, if you talk to the demon, would you... I, I don't want to, like... What's your agenda? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to see you, like, uh, give in to any deal just because it sounds... It sounds like a cool story. I yeah. am an investigative journalist. My integrity should never be called into question. I oh, get the fact that's not much of an answer. answer. I think it should. And then, I, I think a lot of I think a lot of problems that we have right now in 2020 would be because we haven't been the questioning yeah. journalists. Yeah, you don't really get free reign or anything. Uh, you know, a good story. Uh, you know, a demon uh, coming to life out of the ground, destroying everything around it, and burning all civilization to the ground is a great story. That's not one that I want to hear or tell I, my kids. That is a great story, but the better story is finding the people who are trying to do that and having their names published in a paper so that they're ruined. Now, I like, I, I'll deal with a lot of <laughs> demon sacrifices and, <laughs> and elder gods. I'll deal with that, but <laughs> journalistic integrity, now that's, that's one step too far. Not um, questioning journalists, that's... Zahimu, Zahimu <laughs> kind of looks at you all. Could I, could I get you guys some tea? Since you tea would be lovely. You don't seem to be leaving. Uh, that is a good. That uh, is a good point. Sure, uh, I'll take a cup. Like, we got three. We have three options right now. Uh, demon, crash site, or these barbarians. Well, I mean, now, right now, what I just want to go around the table. What, what's everybody? What's everybody think that uh, think that we should do out of those three? Uh, roll intelligence, Sarge. Yeah. Oh, yay! <laughs> hey, your intelligence oh, should be good. Fuck me. That's a two. You know Dang. what you're supposed to do. Come on, Sarge. <laughs> We gotta go. Sarge, there's no way you should be able to roll a two as a wizard. I know you can feel, you can definitely hear the calling, right? Hey, Sarge, do you know Abyssal? Uh, Or Undercommon? Uh, probably not. This is getting too close. Uh, okay. Here's the thing. I know Celestial Conan and the Valdican, that language. But... But here's the thing, telepathy, it doesn't matter what language I speak when it's telepathy. That's it's a good just point. understood. That's a good point. So uh, another another one of the languages on my sheet right now is because of like the stone that I had, the, the skull thing that I got. Was, oh yeah, the, the Psy crystal. That would definitely yeah. translate it for you. So you can, and it, when he says this, all of a sudden you can kind of feel... There's a deep rumble, a buzzing undertone, and a sequence of, of words that you can feel kind of coming from the south. It says, not a lid down, emergency protocols enabled, crew safe but vessel imperiled, psi crystal needed, come at once. And that is Fuck. on can repeat say, over and over. You, you, uh, you, you cut out there for a second. Say that one. It says, not a lid down, emergency protocols enabled. Crew safe, but vessel imperiled. Psy crystal needed. Come at once. So I'll look back up to everyone and just say, all right, so we have two options. We have the demon <laughs> and we have the barbarians. So which... Uh, so 
out of those, which I won't be, uh, I won't be uh, associating myself with demons. Uh, I, mean, I think we should go get the flame and crank the uh, the springs back up. Uh, if you guys yeah. want to talk to Shoggoloth over there, then uh, be my guest. But I don't think I'll be privy to that. I mean, there's two great stories here: barbarian stealing a flame. That's an eh. But interviewing a demon or investigating a crash site that has not been seen by people of this world. Not one of the options. That's not one of the <laughs> options I gave you, uh, Nuval. Yeah, that, that's, that's not one of the... One of the things that you mentioned earlier today. I may have... Uh, Sarge. Nuval, let me ask you this. I may have brought that up earlier, Sarge. but that's not one of the options I just gave you. In, in your head, yeah. the, the voice goes, the creature goes, we won't hurt you. We just we just need the psi crystal to to leave. That's the only thing that we're here for. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, your dude is can talking roll, to you about can, the psi crystal you found. Can, yeah, roll, roll. Yeah. Can I can I roll insight? On yeah, the... definitely. Ooh, ooh. Uh, no, just fifteen. Okay, that's not the whole story. But that is that is part of the story. Sarge, you good? Then, then that means you're talking to your friend. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. And I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be straight up with my boys here. Uh, didn't mean to. Uh, I don't. I don't mean to to to, to uh, generalize with gender, but uh, to you, you are you are part of the boys. You you are we're you're you're, you're with the boys now. Uh, you, uh, I I, uh, I associate with you as a, as a, a boy, as it were. Uh, <laughs> my boys, I got a um, I got a message from this uh, from this crash site and from this worm in my head. He wants me to go to the crash site, and I think that there is. It wants to use the crystal that I found to go home. I think that's part of what the ship needs to leave, and I don't. But I feel like there's some form of. I feel like there might be something else to it. I, this is something that I. We definitely will need to deal with this, but. I don't want to do it. I I want to. Figure out Later. a way to. Get this out of my head without going to the crash site, and then, deal with the crash site. Yeah, I don't know too much about these mind flayers, but they don't seem like good dudes. I don't think that yeah. you you're should just familiar be working just, with them, doing what they say. You're familiar nods in agreement with what you're saying. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. What time of day is it right now, roughly? Um, Let me roll for that. I'm going to say that it's... I'm leaning towards morning, but... Um, Okay, it's around noon. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say this. I vote to uh, move this along and say, uh, Nuval, you talk to the demon, get your story, and then we head off uh, to, to 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 go find the barbarians. I say we do that. Uh, Looks uh, like the you... easiest way to do that would be going up to East Haven first, and then walking through the wilderness. Yeah. Uh, Nuval, would uh, sorry to you. What 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 do you what what, what you what what you think? Dog? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Uh, although I don't know if I want two people in the party with things talking to them in their head. Yeah, it's getting kind of uh, it's getting kind of crowded here. Uh, <laughs> you know, lots of interests. I'm just here to you know kind of remove the all the snow in winter. You know. And just help everyone. You guys are, uh, I don't know, strangely that, motivated. That means there's two against the there's two against the talking to the demon and me saying indifferent. So, uh, Nuval, what 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 say you? It would only take like ten minutes. <laughs> guys, come on. What's 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 that based off of? What's the, where are you getting that time frame from? I don't know. On, I've, talk, I've talked to demons before. It's, it's only going to take like 10 minutes tops. You know how demons are. They're not chatty. Uh, 
I'm not going to stop you from talking to the demon. I think all if you do talk to him, it would just be like you going up to the thing and all of us like staying back. Okay. I'm fine with that. Let's go do that. And then we'll go up to East Haven. Um, it'll probably take us about a day to get there. We can stay in good meat again if they don't want to kill us. Yeah. Well, if Olivessa or Shandar doesn't want to kill us. No, we left Uvini there. She's uh she's taking she's uh she's taking care of everything diplomatically. <laughs> okay. Um sure. <laughs> 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 okay. So you all are going to kind of hang out at the tea house slash uh hot springs while Nuval approaches the twenty stones of Thrun. I actually I'm kind of um, not totally trusting uh, Nuval at this point. I don't know what his deal is. So uh, Forth is going to go with him up like that little trail. Yeah. Probably stop like at the outside of that circle. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah. go with him. Yeah. And be like uh, just watch. talking to him. I guess. Yeah. Just be like. Uh, well, I don't know. I just, he just says, just be careful. And uh, he pats him on the back and uh, casts enhance ability. And gives uh, Nuval the owl's wisdom, so he has advantage on wisdom checks. Okay. I'll walk up and stay with uh, Dwarf, but I don't do anything I wouldn't do. Yeah, I brought tea with me. Don't agree to anything. Make sure to wash your hands. Nuval, I put my hand. Oh, I'll wait with Thorf and uh, Sarge. I'll put so we're my watching, but we're not like participating. I'll put my hand on Newall's shoulder and just go. I'm not really invested in this either way. <laughs> go, with what, go with what you feel. Go, go with what you feel. <laughs> yeah, put your hand on his shoulder. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I am going to cast Unseen Servant because I have to be touching the stone the entire time, so I can't write and talk to this thing. Okay. So he's going to be writing in my notebook, so you see a floating notebook again. Alright, so you approach the stone, and when you place your hand upon it, you hear suddenly the world around you gets even darker. And you hear Rookies no God. Really, what language is that? That would I be... can't really hear. I, can't I know hear. abyssal, infernal, and primordial. Oh, that was perfect. So that was an infernal. <laughs> and the uh, devil speaks and goes, "I see you approach Nuval. You think we do not know Ooh. you? We know of uh... you." You know of me. We know what you I'm did. Flattered. We know what you did. We are watching. But we have proposition, as you can see. We won't come for you if you help us. awfully quiet up there. Okay. Well, it's a mind conversation. We don't know. I was more curious about your story, but now I'm curious about what you know, and... You've written about us before. Oh, joy. It's you guys. You are a great writer. But you interrupted our processions. And because of that, you had to flee to this land. Yeah, I was not a fan of that. Your followers are stupid and have too much power. They are not my followers. It is merely the same realm. But you have a price on your head, and demon kind is aware. I am willing to help you, if you will help me. 
There is okay. There are followers of Yinoku nearby. They are disrupting me in my sleep. Kill them. Bring me the blood to know that they are gone. And we shall have an agreement to cease hunting you. I will tell demonkind to stop the hunt. What's an Anoku? Yinogu. Yinogu. You may be aware. Yinogu. Is that the fire salamander? No. Okay. What's that, Justin? Justin, you know Yinogu. Yeah, so does Bart. You're you're muffled, Justin. I can't hear you. I don't remember right now. <laughs> Demon God. Oh yeah, duh. No mm. knolls and stuff. Yeah. Yes. Um, on your map, I, I a, felt it weird. So a uh, a mark burns into your map, and he goes, "The cackling chasm." They laugh. They laugh. And it wakes my slumber. Silence their laughter. And you will have a truce. Bring me the blood of the Fang of Yunogu. Okay. Wait, this place? Yes. Cackling chasm. Okay. This has been a very lightning interview. Not what I expected. Wait, can y'all hear me now? It's yes. better. I think my my headphones went bad or whatever. Um, yeah. Is this guy? Is the guy he's talking to a demon or a devil? Mm. Are there the same distinctions here? It's a it's a devil. Yeah, infernal. Devil. Okay, he, he spoke infernal. Okay, so he's devil making. Okay. They That's hate the demons from the abyss, so it makes sense that he'd want the followers of Nogu gone. Oh yeah, yeah. Rukdis Nogad, act. You you gotta stop. You gotta stop. So <laughs> I feel I wouldn't be doing my dual diligence enough if I wasn't sure how well you know me. Are you just aware of my recent activities, or do you know more? Um, the demon just kind of, the devil just kind of pauses in his um, contemplation and says, the people you wrote about they are hunting for you and they have put a price on your soul your words have more power than you think and then that's that's all he says okay Duval how you doing just peachy wrapping it up now um, Duval, did you make any agreements? No. An agreement was requested, but I have not done anything towards that. Is there anything further you, re- you need of me? Well, I had been hoping to find out why you are trapped here and why the hot springs went all dark and evil after the flame was stolen, but... Oh, the flame... I imagine they're connected. The flame is merely a repellent of evil and demonic sources, but with it absent from the hot springs, the patron creature 
is no longer present. Essentially, it is like flies to shit. Uh, <laughs> that metaphor works great. Yeah. Uh, let's All see. Right. I, I he does know. have a history. I, he, he, if you want to go into it, he can explain it to you. But Okay. Uh, yeah, it, I would really like to know anything about the area that he would be willing to share. Like the stones themselves or who made the hot spring, how long it's been here. Um, if he knows anything about Arnold's madness, that would be great too. Whose madness? The frozen frost maiden lady. Aurel. Yeah. That is a that is a matter of the gods. We we do not know. Um so essentially if you want to know, he can he goes into a really small uh background about how he attempted to take over uh, da -da 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 -da. he attempted to take over the world a long time ago but he was uh, conquered stopped by a harper ranger named Martine and a former paladin named Wilhelm who uh, trapped him there um, and he was yeah he was essentially that was his role Martine and Wilhelm Okay, cool. It's a very interesting history. I in thirteen sixty six DR. Not that that matters. <laughs> what year oh, is it? It matters. Uh, who, who knows? I don't know. Uh, I'll I'll <laughs> 14, get back to you on that. Eighty nine or something. Yeah. Fourteen ninety two. I'll get back to you on that. It does okay. matter later, but. For now, I I got it. I, I would have to look that up. But yeah, yeah okay. So it should be four, 14 something. Okay, cool. So I've I think I am done. Then I will talk to you later. <laughs> Remember, if you do not help me, they will come for you. I kind of had a feeling that this would not be the safest place still. It is not just me. It is all of us. Okay. And with that, the connection is severed. All right. I walk back to them and I say, okay, got some really good stuff for an interview. Uh, found out that he attempted to conquer the world was stopped by uh, a harper and a paladin and some other people uh, long, probably about a hundred something years ago. And that um, there is a price on my soul. And if we don't go kill some abyssal people, then I may end up causing demons to find us, or devils to find us. Later. You know, you guys are some dangerous folks. <laughs> I'm really starting hey, to like question my- You're the one who uh, attacked a- about child-brained ogre <laughs> how did i know how was i gonna know the ogre had a child's brain and so what if he was gonna smash my head in any way whether he's a child or an adult <laughs> he will probably doesn't come i don't bring them with me we i'm just saying we all have our baggage yeah well, okay let's, let's not get but uh Two of us have more pressing baggage. One of us extremely pressing as I look over at Sarge's hand. Look, I... <laughs> uh, you are helping me with my thing. Uh, I'm not here to judge demon incursions or otherwise. I'm not... Devil. Whatever. Devil. And whatever. demon, I guess. I don't know. We Both? all got shit in our past. I'm, I'm not here to judge. I will... Uh, I'll, I will gladly help you out with your thing. What does this devil want you to do for him? Oh, uh, there's some gnolls over towards where the map has got a mark on it now, and I hand him the map. Uh, they follow Unogu in the abyss, and the devils don't like the demons. So it's always a fight between the hells and the abyss, and uh, they want us to go kill him, kill them, and pour the blood on this spot so that he is aware that his threat is over so he can sleep again. They need 
specifically of the Fang of Inogu, who is a who is a particular knoll who represents. He's like the yeah. uh, conduit of Inogu for a tribe. Yeah, we need oh, the Fang, fang of Inogu's blood. Inogu is like the Fang of Inogu is like the the preacher, the high priest, yeah. preacher, right. the Inogu. speaker, or he's been blessed. So yeah, they're we still got... they're still really vicious and not very smart. And... Yeah. And a, high priest no, uh, a high priest of a of a demon lord. That is that that sounds like something you would take care of, Thor. Hey, yeah, I mean, uh, fuck demons. I'm, I'm all down for uh, cracking some old skulls. And then he mentioned that uh, the flame kind of is acting like a repellent whenever it's here, keeping things away, which means either his presence or just this area in general attracts evil. Right. Well, or it's the hot springs, kind of like one problem at a time, right? Yeah. Hmm. But either way, we either head to the cackling chasm, which is around the red waters, or we head up to East Haven and head over. Actually, we can hit them both from East Haven, kind of. Yeah, we can just hit. I would one. Then. Just one hit then one, the other. and then hit the other. Yeah. Well, you know uh, that from does East sound Haven. good, but listen. Every time we go into a new town, we've got to talk to the speaker, deal with a problem, accept a quest, put an icon on the map. You know, could we just you know <laughs> kind of skip it and take care of some of these things? So you want to you know, head have south into the wilds through. and then go around Red Waters then? Good, yes. from good mead, I am, yes. good mead straight well, to Cackling Chasm is what you're yes, saying. Yes, I'm tired of meeting townsfolk and I would rather take my chances in the wilderness with <laughs> animals my... who either will eat me or will not eat me. Nothing in between. You I don't want to know iPad, about the yes. intense politic struggle between Speaker Danith <laughs> of East Haven and Imdra Al Arlegat. You know, if they if they if they would just hand me like a pamphlet as I walk through, <laughs> sure. Okay. But I don't feel like that's also, gonna happen. Just just kidding. Also our quest log is really high. I, I look at my like uh I look at my like spell book which is just like an iPad and I just like this is <laughs> Yeah, we have a we have a pretty full roster of stuff. It's not Let's not be adding a lot of stuff to it until we start checking. We got to check some of this stuff off. Okay, I'm yes, we're passing yeah. through, but active. We've got uh, the unwanted guest with copper knocker bottom. Uh, his lost friend uh, doing something about the uh, human sacrifices in um, friend Shander about them killing all the homeless. We got the Yeti attack. You got to go get that eventually. Uh, the prisoner of two fifty two. Yeah, the the dwarves who wanted you to go get stuff off of a um, sled that a yeti attacked. I thought they were attacked by goblins. No, they were attacked. We do have the goblin issue too. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the goblin. Oh, and the um. And then I, the I, evil I wizard tower. Did, did I write this down right, Rob? That they're the evil wizard hired a group to find a tower in East Haven. Yeah. 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 So if you head into East Haven, you would encounter that scenario okay. playing out. As you okay. Arrive. Let's, yeah, let's let, let I, I might get like, that's, that is like the, the side quest I care about because spells, but uh, <laughs> let's, let's, uh, for the love of God, any let's, side quest, any side quest yeah. at this point, let's yeah. level up. Yeah, let's let's not uh, let's let's not activate uh, any side quest until we finish these. Let's do. Let's uh, let's roll, guys. Uh, All right, so let's go you, kill oh, some gnolls and then try to save a flame so that you can hopefully not be a uh, illithid in the next few weeks. Yeah, but two birds, uh, one stop. We gotta, but we gotta sleep here at Dugan's Hole first. I'm at like two health. We got oh. wrecked last session. No, uh, you should have. We've rested since then. Oh, we did. Okay. Yeah, we rested in good meat. They had their elections yeah. the next day. Shandar won, and then um, right. well, unless you drank a lot, okay. and didn't while rest. That was, while that if was you if thing. you approach okay. and ask about sleeping, you would sleep. You could sleep at the tea house at the hot spring. Um, but nightmares. You'd have nightmares, which would you'd have to roll. Uh, in 
intelligence to see if you get a long rest, essentially. Uh, I'm good. Shit. Let's 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 just let's just, uh, <laughs> let's let's just, just head out. out. Or you can just head out and take a long rest while you're camping, essentially. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and I just wanted to. What last session there was zero talk of the awesome birds we bought. So I'm hopping on Josie, my awesome chocobo, and we also have our little <laughs> hatchling who was unnamed, and they will be going with us. I am definitely mounted right yeah, now. But the rest of your team is not. Sure. Um, and that chocobo. Uh, the little one has another week, so next session it will be full grown, and another person Ooh. can ride it. Hell yeah! Possibly and you should you time. should name it at that point. Well, I'm, I'm I I got this one. I named it, so you guys can name it. little uh little Chokabee over there. Kawarfa Junior. Um, <laughs> being rosy. Josie and Rosie. Josie so, and Rosie. Josie and Rosie. See, that's gonna get confusing. Alright. Um, so you all head out and I need to do something real quick. You are agreeing Not... to head out. What is going to be... plot your path of travel real quick? And, yeah, are we going down this way? To yeah, here, probably and avoid the water feature. Or did you want to yeah. go this way and walk across ice and possibly die? Or are we going to go up and around in the past East Haven, but not go in East Haven? Okay. <laughs> hey guys, I'm going to take a quick moment. Uh, I'm getting, okay. I got to help Ellie with something real quick. And I'll be right back. <laughs> help her. Yes. God, help her. That dude. was awesome.